Welcome to this overview of the AWS Dashboard and Cloud Health. The dashboard is the first thing you see when you log into the platform. You'll notice that cloud providers are organized alphabetically at the top left of the screen. The AWS Dashboard is the first dashboard that you will see. The dashboard provides you with an at-a-glance, high-level summary of your AWS costs and usage. However, the dashboard is flexible enough that in just a few clicks, you can access a plethora of more detailed information about your AWS cloud infrastructure. The first section of the AWS dashboard is the cost summary. In the first block is your current month's cost. The second block shows your total AWS spending for the previous month. If you hover over these numbers, you'll see that they are hyperlinks. Clicking on your current costs will take you to the current cost report. Clicking on your last month costs will take you to the cost history report. You can also access these reports by using the navigation menu on the left-hand side of the screen. Simply click on Reports and then Cost. The next block shows your projected costs for the month. This is an estimate of your costs for the month and it is calculated by adding the actual month-to-date costs to the average daily costs over the last 31 days and then multiplying that by the remaining days of the month. It is important to note that the projected cost for the month is simply a guide. The accuracy of this calculated estimate improves as the month progresses when more month-to-date data becomes available. It should also be noted that the projected cost for the month does not include in its calculation any support or unused RI costs. The last block shows what percentage of your EC2 instances for the current month are covered by savings plans, reserved instances, and spot instances. Clicking on this percentage brings you to the cost savings report, which is also located under reports and cost. As you can see here, for this month, roughly only 3% of our EC2 instances are operating at on-demand rates. The next section of the AWS dashboard provides a visual representation of your cost history. The cost history graph shows your AWS costs over the last 13 months. Costs are grouped and color-coded based on AWS service category. You can hover over any portion of each bar in the chart to get more information about your costs. Here, you can see that EC2 compute costs are generally your highest spend month over month. At a quick glance, it also looks like the second highest spend is on S3 storage. Looking at the legend above the graph, if you want to remove a service category from view, all you have to do is click on the item to hide it. Simply click on it again to bring it back into view. If you want to isolate the chart to only show one service category, hold down the Shift key and click. Simply Shift click again to return to the normal view. Keep in mind, this is a high level snapshot of your cost history. If you want to drill in to get more information, click on the eye icon which will then take you to the full cost history report. The next part of the AWS dashboard provides metrics on your usage. The first section looks at EC2 usage. Clicking on any of these boxes will bring you to the assets report for those specific items. Below that is a quick look at your instance use by reservation type, which looks at your instance usage by days and coverage type and is based on the previous 60 days of data. Clicking on this graph will bring you directly to the EC2 instance report, which is also found under reports and usage in the navigation menu. Further down, you can look at similar metrics for your RDS usage, which again, link to the assets menu. You can also look at your RDS costs by account for the past year. Finally, you can view metrics on your S3 usage. Clicking on the block for buckets, you'll be taken to the asset menu where you can view the entire list of S3 buckets in your infrastructure. The chart here takes a look at your S3 storage usage by storage type for the past 30 days. 
The AWS dashboard is the default dashboard for AWS in the Cloud Health platform. If this dashboard is not providing the at-a-glance information you need the most, you can create your own customized dashboard. Head over to the Help Center by clicking on the question mark icon at the top right-hand corner of the platform. We have documentation that walks you through creating your own custom dashboard. Additionally, search the Cloud Health Academy for our on-demand video named Building a Dashboard, which will provide a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build your own custom dashboard. And that is it for the overview of the AWS dashboard in the Cloud Health platform. Thank you for joining us.